We're going to start with the hands and the feet. We're going to make a loop. You can also make your magic ring or your chain too. And we're going to put six single crochets in. So pull up a loop, chain one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to do increases and we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12. Now we're going to do five rows of 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, second row, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have two rows. This will be our third row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, our fourth row of 12 single crochets coming up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now our fifth row of twelve single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
so we should have a row of six, a row of increases for 12, and then five rows of 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're gonna do six decreases for a total of six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll slip stitch in the next stitch. When you're doing the hands, you don't need to leave too much of a tail, just enough to get it back inside here. But when you're doing the feet, leave yourself quite a bit of a tail because at the end, I'm going to show you an option of, I'll show one sec. So this could be the hand here. And then if you fold it like this, this will be the feet. And if you leave a little bit of a string on the end here, you can stitch this so it stays like that, so it'll stand up. All right, so now to start the arms, which you'll need two of. Oh wait, you better stuff that first. Stuff that arm up. You're gonna make a loop. go into one of those six single crochet decreases, bring your yarn through, chain one, and put two single crochets in that stitch. And you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12. So that's one and two. Whoops, I grabbed my tail there. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. And 11 and 12. And grab your stitch marker. Now you're going to do 29 more rows of 12 single crochets all the way up. For the arm, you'll do 30 total total rows and for the legs you're going to do 35. Okay, well I'm going to let you keep going and I will come back when we have 30 rows. Okay, so 
<clears throat> now you should have 30 rows and your arms stuffed. Now we're going to close them off. So we'll get rid of this stitch marker. And what you're going to do is just fold your arm in half. And you're going to put five single crochets, getting both sides. And then stitch them together. Make sure your first one is quite tight. So one, two, whoops, three, I should get both sides there, four, and five. And then tie that off. So then you're going to do that to this arm and work on your two legs and they're done exactly the same as your arms except they're five more stitches. So there'll be 35 rows of 12 single crochets, whoops that one I got the yarn in, stuffed and then we'll come back and start putting the legs together to make the body. Now that you've got your arms and your legs done, we're going to put your arms to the side for now. And now we're going to start working on the body by joining the legs together. So you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Then get your leg over here. Got to tuck this in. But I leave a little bit of extra yarn here because sometimes when you join the legs there ends up being a space down there in the middle and you can use that string to sew up the, any little holes that end up in there. So I can just join anywhere. Oops doesn't want me to join it. And you're going to put 12 single crochets all the way around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you're going to go in the back side of one of these three chains. Might be tricky to find. And this is where you usually end up with your hole. Oh, if I can get in there. The way I'm holding it, both the ends are hanging off the edge of the table and it's making it on the tighter side here. So one, two, and get three in there, three. And then you're going to do 12 single crochets on the other side of the leg, two, three, Four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then three single crochets on the other side of this chain. One, two, and where is it? Three. Now you should have 30 stitches. Sometimes you end up going in the wrong stitch. We'll fix, if you don't, we'll check now. We'll go around 30 times with a stitch marker. If we don't have 30 sti stitches, we'll just adjust that on our next round. So this will be round two, and I'm gonna use a stitch marker so I know where I am. So we've done row one. So let's go for 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and I have 29 so I'm actually just going to stick another stitch in there for 30. So if you have 31, you're going to want to decrease somewhere in this next round. So now we're going to go 30 around and whatever adjustment you need to make to get 30 stitches. One, two, Three, four, five, oops, off camera there, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So that's round three. So from what we're going to do from four to eight, we're going to do the same thing. 30 single crochets in every stitch around. So I will come back when we're starting on row nine. You should now have eight rows of 30 single crochet. So before we start row nine, you want to press your guy's body in in half and mark the mark the sides because when we're increasing on the, this time we're not going to be doing an actual stitch count to the increases we're just going to increase on the sides so as long as you mark the sides you'll increase kind of at the same place every time stuck on a, there we go. Okay, so for round nine, we're going to single crochet till we get to this little marker. Then we're going to decrease. We're going to go all the way around. And we're going to decrease here. And we're going to go to our stitch marker. And we should have 28 stitches. Oops, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll decrease. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and then we'll decrease at that marker for 21. For rows 10 and 11, you're just going to go all the way around for two rows of 28. For row 12, we're going to do the same thing as row 9. We're going to single crochet to the side, one decrease, single crochet to this side, one decrease for a total of 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, and decrease about there, I guess. Seven, so eight, nine. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a decrease on the side, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Thirteen and fourteen, we're just going to repeat twenty-six crochets all the way around for two rows. Row fifteen, we're going to do the same thing as row nine and row twelve. We're going to single crochet to the side, decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet. Um, for a total of 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight's going to be a decrease. Decrease twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. For row sixteen and seventeen, we're going to go around twice, so two rows of twenty four. For row 18, same thing as before. We're gonna single or yeah, single crochet decrease on each side for a count of 22. One, two, three, four. Five, six, oops, seven, and a decrease is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 19, 20, 21, 22. So that was row 18. So for row 19, exact same thing for a stitch count of 20. One, Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight is going to be a decrease. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, whoops. We better do a decrease there before we get too far. 17. 18. 19 and 20. Uh, so next, we're going to attach the arms, but I think I need a coffee <clears throat> before that so I will be back in a minute for this last round of the body we're gonna sew our arms on as we're going around in the stitches so ideally if you're in the same place as me we're gonna have five stitches in the front five stitches on the side through the arms five stitches in the back and five stitches on the other side going through the arm. You may have to adjust if you're not in the same spot as me. I may even have to adjust because it worked out for the first one I did and now I'm not sure if I'm one stitch over or not. So we're gonna do five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to take her one arm. And we're going to go through our first single crochet on the arm and our next stitch right, oops, can you see that? There's our last stitch, so we wanna go through this stitch. Give her a bit of a tug. So that's one. Two, oops, sorry I keep hitting my camera here. three it's a little awkward but in the long run if you don't like coming back and stitching on your arms this is a really nice way to go about attaching arms so that's five then we should have five stitches on the back Find your last stitch one in there, so one, two, three, four, five. How are we looking? And get your next arm. Now I like to keep both my end strings on the same side that way when you're done you can put them in through here both on the same tie side and tie them in the back just to kind of give them a little tighten anchor them a little better okay so into that fifth stitch and the next stitch on the body Give it a little tug 
and then we'll do five across the arm and through the, I guess it's the shoulder, neck of the body. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right, flip it over. I think that'll work. All right. So now I am in that stitch. It's just hard to tell. So this is my next stitch here. We're going to start going up the head here. So we're going to do four single crochet and one increase for a total and repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, oops, three, four, and an increase, so five and six. And four more. One, two, oh, sorry. I'm watching what I'm doing and not what the camera's doing. So one, two, three, four, and an increase. One, two, three, four, and an increase. Oh, I got no room here. One, two, three, four. And an increase. Okay. Right now, we should probably stuff this guy up. Make sure you get down his leg a little bit since we kind of haven't stuffed him since we attached the legs Okay, for row two of the body, we're going to be doing three single crochets and an increase for a total of 30. So one, nope, one, Two, 
three to an increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten. Eleven, <clears throat> twelve, whoops. 13, an increase, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, an increase, 19 and 20. Four and twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and an increase, twenty nine and thirty. For uh, round three, you're just going to go all the way around 30 single crochets. Okay, round four, we're going to do four single crochets and an increase for a total of 36. One. Two, three, four, increase, one, two, oops, I got a string there, two, Three, four, and an increase. One, two, three, this arm. <laughs> Give me problems. Four and an increase. One, two, three, four. And an increase. One, two, three, four, and an increase. Two, 
three, four, and an increase. Row five, we're just gonna do 36 single crochets all the way around. Round six is going to be five single crochets and an increase, and you will repeat that all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase. One, two, three, four, five, and increase. Stitch would be a good idea. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase. One, two, three, four, five, and increase. give us a total of 42 for round six. Um, okay, so for round seven to 17, you're just gonna do four, 42 single crochets all the way around, and I will meet you back to start row number 18. Okay, so you should be done up to row 17. But before we start row 18 and 19, we gotta go through a few steps here. So I've ended right here, and I swear, when I did my first one, I ended over here somewhere. Right about here, and I did six stitches, and then started doing my half double crochets up in the ear and I'm not sure why but now I've ended on this side but it's not really gonna matter where you've ended if you're where I am or if you're over here somewhere we're just gonna adjust the stitches so that these sides are the same and then the middle is the same so get your piece nice and flat and find your middle or not your middle your side on this side and then find your side on this side oops we'll try there and that's just so you know where your your split between each side of the row is going to be so there'll be 
six half double crochets on this side of that stitch and there'll be six half double crochets on this side of the stitch and if you want you can count that out right now so one two three four five six that's where I'm going to start my first half double crochet in that stitch right there and this one's going to be a little awkward because I'm on the that side there so one two three four five six and then when you go around the back this is where you're going to start your second set so there'll actually be 12 double, half double crochets on each side, but six will be in the front, six in the back. Okay. So we'll single crochet all the way to our first little stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're going to start our half double crochets and we're going to do twelve of them. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we're going to do single crochets till we get to the other stitch marker we put in there. Oops, singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and start your half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, sorry. My yarn is not coming out. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve. So that was row 18. And so for 19, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to single crochet until we get to this first half double crochet you did. One. 
So I'm not 100% sure what's happening, but my phone keeps shutting off my video. So we'll see. I think I was on my second single crochet. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here's my first half double crochet. So I will be putting that half double crochet in the next stitch right there in front of it there. So we'll do 12 half double crochets, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oops, I heated up my coffee and forgot about it in the microwave. So we're do single crochets now. have to excuse my wibbly camera here. I keep hitting the wire that it's hooked to. It's just my phone here. And I got my arms wrapped around it basically so every time I bump it or this little huggy wuggy guy bumps it I get a bit of a wiggle. Okay so there's my half double crochet. So we'll do one more single crochet and then we'll start our 12 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops. Eight, nine, I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness. Now I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Yes, I remember you're in there. One second. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this over. And sometimes you'll notice when you're doing single cro or crocheting in the rounds that one side's a little higher than the other, and this is actually pretty even. If you want, you can just do a couple single crochets if yours is a little if yours is a little more like that. I'm just going to do two single crochets and then slip stitch and finish off. So, one, two and a slip stitch. And you can cut that. And we're just about done. We're going to start putting the eyes on. And what else we got to do? We'll have to make the mouth, but I think we will do that after the eyes are on. 
all I have. I gotta start looking at my pattern now because I can't remember anymore. Um, I put the eyes between row 13 and 14. So if you find where you attached your arm, which is about right there, that will be the last row of the body. So this will be, should be, what first stitch of the head. So we're going to count to 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So just in those two. And I think I just lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let me just check how far I put them apart here on this guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five or six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now before, I already have a template, so I'm just gonna kind of measure. My mouth will fit in there and they look good. So I am gonna put the backs on. So for the mouth, what I did is I took a, a sheet of paper. I don't have a pattern to give you, sorry. And I just lined it up like this. And I just found the eyes and I drew a line straight across. So here's my lines. And then I came back in after and made went up and made the points before I cut it out. Now that's if you're going to make a felt mouth. I'll insert a picture of the first one I ever made with the felt mouth. And you will do um, a black and a white in this shape. And then you'll cut in the middle to cut out the teeth. And you'll glue the black and the white together. And then you'll make a chain of red for the top of the lips and a chain of the red down for the bottom of the lips. My eyes look uneven. And I've started a mouth, but I will go through that with you. But you wanna make sure that your mouth comes up a little bit here in the eyes and then comes up the sides like that. I hope that last little section about the felt mouth didn't confuse you guys. We are going to be doing the crocheted mouth. I just grabbed the template and got a little ahead of myself because I did have to make the template in order to make the mouth yesterday. And that's just how I kind of did it. But I'll, we'll make the mouth together here. And since I just made this up yesterday, I'm going to have to read off the pattern because I do not remember what I did. So you have to bear with me. All right, so make your loop. You're gonna be chaining, so you don't want that to be too big. And we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. It's going to be a little hard to see this black yarn, but if you've made it this far with me, this will be no sweat. Okay, so in the second chain from hook, you're going to do two single crochets. And then in your first chain, you're going to do another two for a total of four single crochets. 
and I forgot to write chain one and turn in my pattern. So if I happen to just start going and I forget to mention chain one and turn, there is a chain one in every row. Okay, so for row two, we're gonna increase two single crochet increase for a total of six. So chain one, turn, two single crochets in the first stitch, then one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then two single crochets in the last stitch. And make sure you get around both edges of that yarn there. I'm going to use my stitch marker so I don't lose track of where I am. So round three, we're just going to do six single crochets all the way across. So chain one, turn, and six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So for row four, we're going to increase four single crochets and then increase again for a total of eight. So chain one, turn, so increase in the first stitch. And you're going to do four, and then you're going to increase in the last stitch, and you should have eight single crochets. Row five, you're just going to do eight single crochets across. one and then start in that first stitch and go all the way across one two three four five six seven and eight whoops Bonked you guys around there, and I made a real mess. Put that eighth one back in. Actually, I don't think that's my fault. I think that's a yarn. Almost looks like it has an extra strand wrapped around it. All right, so row six, we're going to increase eight single crochet and increase for a total of ten. So chain one and turn. I'm going to increase, that's two, what did I say, eight single crochets, eight single crochets across, one, two, three, four, Six and an increase. Oh, I think I wrote that down wrong. Yeah, it's six single crochets across. And we'll just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I am actually just going to fix that right now or I'll forget about it. Where is my... So that's six single crochets. Okay, so that was row six. 
Now I'm going to pause the video and restart it for row 7 because I've done row 7 about 4 times now and I keep making a mistake. Okay, so for row 7, we're going to chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to do two slip stitches, one, two, and then we're going to do a single crochet, and that'll be our little peak for our mouth. And then we're going to make sure you're, make sure you're facing this way across the top. Or your tail is is your bottom. We're going to do three single crochets across the top of the mouth. One, two, whoops, three. And then we're going to do a half double crochet. This will be making the little curve between his eyes. And then we're going to do two double crochet. One, two, then we're going to do a half double crochet, and then we're going to do three single crochet, hopefully. One, two, and three. So far so good. We're in the point where we want to be. And we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do two slip stitches like on the other side. Whoops. One, two. And then we're going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch down into here. Well, look at that. I did it right the first time this time. First time of four. but And then tie that off. Okay. Now for the lips, we're just going to crochet around, make your little knot loopy thingy. I do not remember where I started. I think I started in the bottom. I didn't write this part down because I figured it wasn't that hard to look at. Maybe I should have stop. Alright, so we're going to put two single crochets all the right way around the curve here and the curve or straight across here. And here we're going to go into um, probably single crochets and slip stitches. Alright. So chain one. Oops. And put two single crochets, one, two, two single crochets. I don't know if you guys want to listen to me go all the way around. I know I don't like the sound of my own voice, that's for sure. In my head, it sounds great. <laughs> when I listen to it recorded, I sound like... I can't even say it, a S. Alright, I think I'll do two in that one. Alright, we're getting up to the point of the mouse, so I'm going to start single crocheting in here. So 
three or four single crochets. If I can get in there, there we go. If you want, you can put two single or two chains and then come back into that single crochet and it'll give you a big bit of a point maybe. And I didn't go in the right stitch there maybe. Okay, so a couple of single crochets across the top of the point of the mouth. What you want to do is you want to just be able to see a little bit of that black. Right about now it's just more personal. I really want to get two strings in there. I don't want a hole. Alright, I think I'm going to start my double or my two in one stitch again until I get to the other corner of the mouth. I don't know if you have to do two in each one. Why am I doing halves? Hold on. But um, I thought it might make the lips look a little plumper. I don't even actually know who this guy is. I just got an order for one at Christmas time and it was sold out. So I thought, well, maybe I'll make a YouTube video of him because he actually turned out to be pretty cute. I feel though that he's not that friendly. <laughs> All I did was I seen a video of him chasing someone through a tunnel in the video game and I'm like, oh, <laughs> kids are watching this nowadays. But I think he's in other places too. I seen him on that Minecraft, which I also know nothing about. That's a little block character. Sorry, you can really tell the waves now that the camera angle has changed. You can see the, my paper over there. All right, so we're in the corner. Um, I think I'll start, well, no, one more double, or not double, increase. And then I'll do a couple singles. And I did chain two on that side, so I'm going to chain two on this side as well. Not sure how much of a difference it's making. And then start down your other side with single crochets somewhere in there. I feel like I'm missing one stitch. But I mean, by the time you put the teeth on and sew it on, it's not, you're not even going to really notice, I don't think. All right, I'm going to start doing two in each stitch again. I haven't even looked at my camera to see if I'm... Just look at that. I keep going to a half double. Half double is my favorite stitch. Double crochet, I feel like it leaves so much space, and a single crochet takes forever. So I'll put two. I was starting to... And you don't have to go over that black tail there because you're gonna it's gonna be underneath. I feel like I do much better when it when I don't know what I'm actually doing. I don't have to count the stitches, so I just go. So we'll finish the mouth and then I'm gonna take a break before I come in and do the teeth. Just finish it off by attaching to that first single crochet and this time leave a big tail because we're going to stitch on with the red. So I always leave way more than I need. Way, way more. <laughs> okay, 
I will see you guys back in a little bit. So for the teeth, I'm going to um, get you started and then after I'm done, later on I'll put a little image after this clip of this guy's full face so you can if you want you can pause it and try and recreate the same stitches or do your teeth however you want or leave your teeth out I don't know what it looks like without teeth I guess he looks okay maybe not as much like the character would be but I've also seen him with just like a, a strip of red down here So get your white and I cut quite a long piece probably well it's folded in half it is at least it's about my arms stretched out so my arms plus two and that's probably too much but I'd always rather have a little extra than not enough And I'm going to put one side up through the center of his lips. Is that the center? Oh yeah, there's the two um, double crochets. So that'll be your center. Oops. I did this a bunch of times yesterday. And the easiest way I found to get it kind of even is once you get it through there, take the one side of your string and pull it through and leave the other side on the other side so that basically this is now in the middle of your your big string of white and then you can start doing this side a little bit and then this side a little bit and then slowly go down to the center and then that way they'll kind of match up because when I went around the first time I went like this and as I was getting up here I was like well this side isn't lining up with that side and it doesn't have to I mean if you've seen this guy's face his teeth are everywhere <laughs> and that's not quite straight the one downside of having so much string is if you do make a mistake some little extra work to get it out. So my stitches, I need to line up about there. I think it's still gonna be crooked. But I'll add some character here with this crooked teeth. Sometimes on the last one the stitches matched up, so maybe I have it backwards. And when I go the other way, they're going to match up a little better into the holes. See, I don't think these ones are quite as long. So I'm just going in every single place I put a single crochet. See this one. This one's going to go a little crooked. And then you know, thread your, yeah, thread your other end and go the other way. Like I said, they don't have to be perfectly even. I don't even know which one I'm replicating that one, I think. Got my two. 
so this one's going to be a little smaller maybe. And then my little crooked one. It's a little... No, I'm going to redo that one. So just keep going all the way around. So here to here, here to here, as you go, kind of, as you get down into these ones, you're going to want to kind of aim them on an angle. Oops, I do. Okay, now you should have all your teeth on. And we're just going to tidy up this back here a bit. I'm going to tie my two black ends together. And I'm going to cut and tie my two white ends together. And don't get in a hurry and cut that red because you're going to need that red in a moment to um, put your mouth on. Oh, I just noticed something. So if you're still, if you're just letting me play and talk in the background while you're doing your teeth, this is the back side of the mouth. And it's kind of a mess, except for that one though. If your teeth look like even this, it would look fine. So it really doesn't matter what you do with your teeth. As long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. Uh, maybe I'm going to deal with these two. So if you've left your ends like me, I just want to get them down and through the back. Down and through the back, but just make sure you go through the same the same hole. Maybe give that a tie. And yes, I know I super tie everything. I'm just not trusting of knots of yarn. And then you'll just go through that same hole you brought them out and just come out somewhere on the other side. Give it a bit of a tug and cut that off. Okay, and we're done with this. We don't need this anymore either. I don't think we need any of this. Let's get rid of it all. Okay. So let's see if I can get him straight in the camera. So now you're going to want to pin your mouth on before you sew it. And you want to make sure that you're not covering the eyes. That looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to put a pin across. Make sure you only go through one layer and not the back layer. Or you're going to have a bit of a time stuffing it later on. I'm going to put a pin up and through so this doesn't move too much. And a pin on the bottom. I can't get around this. I'm going to have to put it in opposite of what I'm used to here. So, and watch I don't poke myself there. And then, 
As you're sewing down, you can kind of tuck that in. Put your one, what would you call this, mouth corner, I guess. And then do your other mouth corner. This is where I gotta worry a little bit more about it being even. It's gotta come a little higher, I think. And I might just do these sides too. It's a little bit of overkill, but come on, where are you going through here? Okay. Now last time I went this way around and it seemed awkward. So this time I'm gonna go this way around. Let's see if it makes any difference. Okay, I'm still here. I'm just threading my needle. Definitely have too much, but. So you're just gonna go in and out right along these, oops, sorry, right along in these holes here is where I've decided to do it. If you have a way you like better or looks better, which is definitely quite possible. Nope, this feels just as awkward as going the other way. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have a hard time keeping this in the center. So I apologize if I go off screen. As soon as I notice, I will definitely be back. <laughs> and I'm pulling some stuffing through. I'm gonna fix that later. Um, I don't know, do you guys need to see me doing this or you guys got it? Because I mean, I guess if I had something to talk about, but I don't even know if I do. Yeah, I mean, just give it a pause, sew the mouth on, and then I'll come back and we'll, I think we'll stuff it and sew the top up. So you should have your mouth all stitched on, tied off in the back. And now we'll just stuff the head and close up the top. And when you're stuffing the head, keep in mind that he's going to be more flat instead of round like this. Oh, this is hard to do around this camera phone, whatever. Um, okay, that should be lots. So to get started, you're going to want to line up your, um, your half double, double crochet in the front and your half double crochet in the back. Sorry, I got to be off camera. I can't pull it. Okay. I'm coming back in a second. Okay. So you'll have six half double crochets here and your six in the back. And this is where you're going to start. I'm just going to put my hook in there so I don't lose it while I tie my knot. So make your loop. And then you're going to pull that through and you're going to chain one and you're going to do three single crochets in this first stitch. So one, two, three, and then you're going to do, whoops, five single crochets in the next five stitches. 
Make sure you're getting both through both sides. One. How can I do this? I'm going to redo that. I don't know how I can get this guy in the frame, but not out of my way here. Try that. I got a heck of a mess here. Hopefully you guys aren't having this problem I'm having. <laughs> so I've got to go back and put one more single crochet in that. This guy's just all arms and legs. Okay, so we'll go five single crochets. And then we are going to slip stitch till we get to these. Sorry, this is looking so awkward. I'll probably, after I'm done this, redo it so it's a little neater. So we're just slip stitching across till we get to those next set of half double crochets. Make sure you're going through both the front and the back. And I should be getting close here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll do one more slip stitch. Oh God, sorry. Um, now we're gonna do our five single crochets. Well, it's a good thing I didn't start out like this. You guys would have been like, I'm not watching this video. And we're going to put our three single crochets in the corner. Are these his ears or are they just the corner of his head? I'm not sure. I've been calling him them his ears. Okay, so tie that off. And then we're going to want to put these ends in. Oh, let's go in the middle of his head somewhere. And then tie, put this one in. through where you just went with the other one. I'm gonna tie that off. I think I'm about to push everything off this table. This guy is so awkward. <laughs> Like I can imagine right now, if you crochet like I do, you're sitting on your couch, maybe you got a coffee or a drink on your table, lots of crochet paraphernalia around you, hopefully relaxed and enjoying this video. But your arms are probably 
a foot and a half up in the sky. <laughs> Just because these legs are so long. Oh. Darn it. in I guess while I'm doing this please if you've enjoyed this video and made one of these guys make sure you hit the like so that I know that uh, whoops you've been watching and enjoying my channel and subscribe and every time I upload something new it should pop up on your newsfeed maybe not yet because I'm just getting started as you can tell I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just doing it the crochet part I got down, the video, download, upload, all that stuff, thumbnails. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do the feet now too. So you can leave them like this. I still have those strings tied around from when we first started this video. Or we can make his feet go like this. And I kind of liked it like that. If you're over this and you just want to be done, just snip these off after you weave them in a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to stop and start this because I'm already at nine minutes and my phone's probably going to shut off or something. So I will be right back. Okay, so. If you're going to make your little feet bend up so he's standing on the flats of his feet, all you're going to do, first of all, make sure they're straight up and not sideways or this way. You're going to come up through the side here. And at about the sec, uh, the third row, I'd say. So we got your decrease row, your, your first row of 12, and then your next row of 12. Under these bottom stitches, you're going to stitch to, I think, here, but we'll see as we get going. So take a little piece of that and just go into that stitch. Oh, these are tight. Oops, I hope you saw that. I wasn't looking at the camera. And you can go into this stitch. And this stitch. Just keep going like that till you get to the other side. Just make sure the most important thing is make sure you're staying on the on the same line on here and the same line on here. I better point this down. I can, I'm working here. And the camera's pointed way out. I don't even know why I call it a camera. It's just my phone. If any of you um, make these videos and have happened to come across my channel and you have a better suggestion for me, leave it in the comments because I know I'm really struggling with this video part. My phone only holds about, I don't know, 15 minutes of video and then I have to load it up onto the computer, which is about 15 years old at least. So it takes an hour just to turn it on. And then I got to come back and I delete the video I just made and start all over again. 
I know I'm definitely doing it the hard way. Definitely. <laughs> And that's not even including the editing. Just loading these into the editor takes about two hours. And then, uh, I don't know. And I don't mind the editing. That's kind of fun. I do find though that I probably, if I had the opportunity, do more editing than I should. Like I like all the fancy everythings. Changing the names, adding text. The first time I tried the editor, I was putting words along the top and uh, I couldn't just have the words. I had to have the one that had like the little sunlight sparkly beams coming out, which I didn't need. <laughs> and when I discovered that, I had to go back for about 18 different frames and redo my text. <laughs> and then loading on, on uh, YouTube, just like a 15 minute video takes about three hours. I know it shouldn't be like that. It's something I'm doing. So I'm gonna go this way again. So I'm kind of just letting you do this yourself here. If you do make one though, please subscribe. And leave a comment. Leave a picture if you can. I see all these people saying leave pictures, but I don't know how you leave a picture in the comments. Something I can't figure out. Because I'm always logged in. I do have a Facebook page. I don't have any patterns or anything on there, but... Um, You can always post on there. I'll probably, usually I leave my link to that page on the, um, in the description. So if you wanna check out the description, see other stuff I've made, suggest things I could make. I never know what's, oh, did I ever luck out? I forgot to check that this was pointing straight up. <laughs> Oh, I forget what I was saying already. Uh, oh, if you just, if you, like I know Paw Patrol is pretty popular and I'd like to make Paw Patrol. And I think I could get the legs and the body and the head. I just don't know if I could get like the hat and the clothes part and whatever emblems they wear. I love, also my kids are grown up now. So it's not a show that I've ever watched. I just see it everywhere. Like when you're on Pinterest. Okay, well, I think this is gonna be our last little knot here and then we are done. So I hope you really enjoyed this. I haven't made an intro yet. Hopefully I don't repeat myself. So if I'm repeating myself now, I'm making an intro from for like three or four days ago. Cause I think I'm on day four of making this. This should only take you like an afternoon, full day at most, if you have nothing else to do but sit and do your crocheting which I know a lot of us don't. I do, and I quite enjoy it, but... Okay. So, whoops. One last bang of the camera, why not? <laughs> Let's get to that. There we go. We got Kissy Missy and Huggy Wuggy. 
thanks for watching my video and hopefully there's something else on my channel that you find that you enjoy as well. Whoops.